Hola, bienvenidos a San Jose. Me llamo Pedro Feliciano, uh, and this is Conservative episode 147. Hola, <laughs> 1170.3, Radio Romántica. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Sábado gigante. No, uh, thank you very much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, rate it and review it and uh, all that shit. And um, yeah, our guest today is Jerry again. I think it's your fourth time. Damn. Third or, third or fourth time. Because we did that time last time with the, with the hats. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah. There's always been a lot going on yep. for a while now. Even more so. Yeah. Here, put the uh, mic a teensy oh. bit closer to you. There we go. All right. We're cool. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you so much again for uh, coming on the show, man. Thanks, really man. appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. It's been a hot minute. New York City, baby. It's been fucking amazing out there. Dude, it looks amazing out there. Yeah. It's and and uh, a lot of people have been worried because like, oh, you know, you're in the thick of the the COVID stuff like, right. eh, yeah, but I mean, as far as since beginning of May, people have been wearing even homeless people wear masks and stuff like it's people really are relaxed. Yeah, oh yeah. Everything's yeah. everything's calmed down. Yeah, they yeah. haven't done that over here with the homeless people. They've been giving them hotel rooms, actually. Instead. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, it turned to a shit show. But. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so, um, so what's been going on with you? First things first, you said something uh, that I have, uh, uh, that there was, uh, you were going to do a cover of one of my songs? Absolutely. Which one? Do you remember? Uh, it's the happy one. Um. <laughs> the happy one. Spe uh, Simple Girl? No, not that happy. Okay. Was it the one about writing? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. That one. Which, yeah, 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 yeah. Missed the, missed the point. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Dude, we practiced for two weeks. I love that song, dude. Thank you, dude. It grooves. It's yeah, tight. It really does. For sure. How, you were going to put horns on it, though? Or no? I was going to play your, your lead, I mean, vocal part on saxophone. Oh, okay, badass. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Because no one can sing like that, so. Right. Oh, uh, for those of you who haven't listened to his music before, it's A-Y-N. Ein Sof. It's A-Y-N-S-O-P-H, SoundCloud, Facebook, if I'm not banned. And uh, YouTube, that's awesome. Yeah, you do it. We did a track together, a uh, uh, cover of uh, Radiohead. Thief. Yeah, the Thief. Yeah, which yeah. Is actually is another cover of somebody else. Yeah, it is by yeah. the band Can okay. from the 1960s. Nice. Yeah, dude, it was good times. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and seeing you, seeing you in the uh, uh, Hyde Studios. I remember Hyde Studios. I've been in Hyde Studios before, and seeing you at the helm of stuff was uh, was cool. Yeah. yeah, man, it's different. I mean, I've been in bands all my life, but uh, you know what happened already. So yeah. it kind of pushed me to like do my own stuff, which I've been wanting to do for a decade now. And man, I love it. Yeah, everything's on my terms. Right. You know, I don't have other bandmates that are like shitty girlfriends. It's yeah, all my own music, most of it. Mm. And uh, yeah, couldn't be happier. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, a lot of a lot of instrumental stuff. I haven't really heard any any um, vocal vocalized stuff. It's hard to find a singer, man. You're you're a fucking <laughs> telling, I always tell this guy like man you can't be so modest like you're a badass uh, own that shit be a diva and that, so that's all you, that's you uh, you gotta be a diva about it bro you're at that point now you think yeah, I know so there's a lot of there's okay so it's two things so. it's two things yes I need to be aware of the fact that I'm talented but I also need to be humble at the same time of course I I'm can't be a, a, a douchebag whatever you're right but I also need to be I need to value my own uh, contributions to to yeah. uh, uh, art and to and to whatever. It's a weird little balancing act, you know what I mean? Of course, you got to be humble, but uh, also you got to be sometimes I'm tell you be more confident. Because if you're that that more that much more confident, you'll do more stuff. You'll get more stuff accomplished. Okay. You'll be uh, you'll venture off and uh, I'm gonna, when are you gonna do another album? You're, at least you got to be in the writing process. I have written a couple of things, but I've been focused on school, and I've been, yeah. and I, and honestly though, I've been moving for a year. Yeah, for sure. I finally am yeah. in a spot that's just mine, that's all, that's exactly, beautifully, perfectly mine, um, and it's been, you know, but I was getting ready to move over a year ago, right. and I haven't felt settled, you know. Yeah. So especially on a different coast too. Yeah. But uh, I mean, your podcast has been awesome lately. Thank you, man. You had some bangers, like one after another. Really good ones. You like that last episode, Carrie, dude? She's a badass, dude. I like her. She made me happy. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, that's what I'm always looking for is someone like her. Like, right. They're a liberal, but they're, they might think for themselves and be open-minded to the other side. And I haven't seen that at all, but she was an exception. Right. That was good to know. Well, maybe it's, an, maybe it's a California thing, too. It absolutely is. This, we're like in the hub of right. yeah, liberal right. shitholes. Yeah, I went walking around San Francisco, and I love, um, I'm, for those who don't know, I'm visiting uh, the Bay this week and um 
and I uh, and I went and 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 um, walked around San Francisco with some people, and I and I love it and whatever. At the same time, interpersonally, just personally, I feel I was feeling weird because it's not my home anymore, and it doesn't feel like it should yeah. be my home. Right. Which is has nothing to do with San Francisco. It just has to do with personal transition. When you yeah. transition out of somewhere, and you're like. This used to be my home. I remember who I was a year ago. Right. And I'm like, that's not me anymore. I love that. You know what I mean? And I remember where it going in the exact same places I would go and just being like, this isn't this isn't me anymore. And that's great. At the same time, it was also besides the interpersonal fact of not being where where I was emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It also is the type of thing where it was a little goddamn insufferable like every window having a sign that says black lives matter in it every every you know hearing a story of some girl who's um uh uh you know she's like i'm so proud of my daughter because my daughter's really getting into the social justice and and like was telling me you know they have those little honey bears those little fake honey bears up in the windows yeah. and they're like actually my daughter told me that that's actually that they don't agree with that guy anymore because he said something racist yeah. it's like oh come yeah, on they're, they're come eating, on dude. they're eating each other because <laughs> Where else do you go? You know, you call yeah. everybody racist, then they're going to start calling each other racist, and it's just it's a never-ending cycle of just right. misery. The idea that the idea that I would have people on my show who who break the bounds of the social of the uh, idea of identity politics, and then immediately the solution to that be, oh, they just have internalized racism, <laughs> internalized homophobia, internalized misogyny is it's an in it's an immovable uh, it's an unwinnable right. argument. Right, exactly. They're yeah. constantly moving the goalposts. It's it's fucking right. it's unfair, man. It really is. And I think they give humans too much credit. I don't think people really think that deep. Like I'm gonna be a hidden racist. It doesn't come out <laughs> that way, dude. But um, I mean, I think it's just an obvious too, dude. Most of Americans, ninety five percent of them, we already know that already. Black that, people matter. Yeah, yeah. Like, why do we have to say that? It's already given already. Like, who the fuck are you calling racist? Like. I don't understand it. Right. And what I did my research, and it's a Marxist movement. That's yeah. what it is. They're using black people to to meet their their ends of whatever they want, communism, right. communism or socialism, socialism or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, right. dude, it's retarded. Right. And then these people don't get the fact that like, maybe people just want to be left alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Right. They're trying to force this ideology on people. Like you need people are trying to have dinner. Like I don't know if you saw a video in Dallas, Texas. Mm. People are the outside dining. And they're and black people are eating too, and they're running up to them and shoving the sign in their face, and like, dude, people are just trying to have dinner. Like, fuck off, right? You know. And what if they don't like your movement? They have that right. It's America. They have that right. They might not like you because you're racist. Just, dude. Right. It even might if right. Even if they are racist, they it get might that right suck. To be racist. But I'm sorry, man. That's their right to not like you. Right. And you don't have to let it bother you. Yeah, I wonder what the fuck they really think that there are so many there are so many racists out there that they have. Um, uh, 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 power. I really don't think that they're like, as far as especially like KKK members or real pieces of shit, there's not that fucking many of them to have that much power, dude. Dude, there's like 20 of them in West Virginia somewhere. Right. And <laughs> yeah. And they're too busy fucking their cousins and all kinds of shit. Right. Like, there's no, there's no, there's no real uh, uh, basis for that. And so, in order to justify. And I, I still hold with the idea that the majority, almost all of them, have good intentions. The problem is, is I think a they put so much emotion to it that it has to be childish. It has to because if you are a, a rational thinking adult, then you can't, you can't, you can't. It's not emotion driven. It's right. like, okay, how am I going to get to this? How am I going to get to that? There's so much emotion to it. So as soon as they hear a trigger word, as soon as they hear this any anything, they immediately have to go, oh my god, this is this giant thing. We have to scream at these people. We have to yeah. scream at. You know, it, it's, it's that's why now. that's why they got to find these uh, like uh, these hate crimes that end up being hoaxes. Jesse Smollett, the, the NASCAR Bubba, guy. Right. There's been like four people that were they said they were they were hung by nooses. It was they were just suicides and it was just regular suicides. It's like, man, you guys are looking for stuff. Right. Like if it's that prevailing, you wouldn't have to. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I also have been getting a lot of and I talked about this on the carry episode, but I also have been getting a lot of. Uh, secretive messages from people. Uh, I have a friend uh, who's like, I won't say the exact, uh, I won't say the exact industry he's in, but he's like, listen, whenever you get, whenever your podcast or your music get big enough, make <laughs> me your main guy for this specific industry because I am sick of these woke mo motherfuckers. Right. And he's a Latin dude. Right. Surprise, surprise. He's a Latin dude. He's like, I am sick of these, of these, uh, of the wokeness in my, in my industry. And it's happened oh, on all over the place. And yeah, we've been on that for, oh, I knew that a long time. Yeah, for sure. 
what was so your yeah you, I mean you remember your experience of of getting of getting canceled on a real and not just canceled but getting threatened on a on a real visceral uh, uh, logical basis. What was the emotional internal experience for you when you were canceled? Oh, dude, I was. It was like I never felt that like amount of desperation, like sadness. Just just imagine everything in your life was just turned upside down immediately, and you're the bad guy. You know, I didn't deserve it. It was shocking. Like I was scared to call my parents. Like that's how deep it like it affected me. I was I was like ashamed almost. Like what did I? Okay. I know I didn't do anything wrong. Right. But like they got involved. They were involved. They, you know, their addresses on their flyers were in front of their house saying I'm a fucking neo-Nazi. Right. And um, so I was embarrassed to, to even call them. I just like I literally hid in my room, all the lights off, turned everything off, all electronics. And then thank God my brother like somehow got through my phone and I answered it. And he was he was laughing. He's like, I'm ready for those motherfuckers right now. <laughs> like, don't even, he's like, fuck them. And then I get a text, I get a text from my dad. My dad's like, fuck these motherfuckers. Like, yeah. he's like, well, we'll go to war with them, my dad. I'm like, it's like, okay, chill. Jesus, dude, do not fight with the fucking yeah. and then, la raza. So and then, yeah, dude. and then my, my mom was like, my, mom's, my mom never cusses. She's like, fuck these people. And I'm wow. just like, all right, they got my back. All right, cool. But my mom was like, but you need to get, you need to be done with this. And I was like, yeah, totally. Right. Because I just want to do politics, help people. But, dude, some people don't want to be helped at right. all. And they'll get violent with you to prove that point. Right. So let them have it. And I was laughing. I was talking to Jeffrey Prine. You, you interviewed him the other day. Um, no, not the other day, but uh, last year. Remember Jeffrey, Jeffrey the uh, conservative guy, redheaded, Sacramento? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, he, everything that's happening right now, he called three years ago, like, to the team. I'm like an optimist. I'm like, no, because we're smarter than that. This won't happen. Or, like, everything that's happening right now in culture, like, he said was going to happen. And it's happening right now. So we're both of us are sitting back like... Oh shit! This is, it's funny, right? It's real funny. Yeah, when I was watching uh, uh, certain people, like when they were starting to do protests and stuff, and watching, like, uh, okay, we're posted up. We're gonna get some. <laughs> we're gonna get some weapons and shit. Like, whew, you do not want to go to war with certain people, guys, especially uh, social wow. justice warriors who have done maybe a week of training in the woods. Um, you know, with feeling circles and stuff. Like, you're you're, you're not you're not ready I have, that's what i'm saying ready yeah. don't do that i keep telling them if you really want a civil war it'll end in a week it'll <laughs> it, it'll take it'll be over it'll be over it'll be over in a week dude i'm telling you militias militias they they've been they, around, they train every day that's like what they do yeah and that's yeah. another misconception i'm getting sick of people saying that militias are white supremacists no they're not dude they're just they're constitutionalists yeah so that means they'll protect you too right. whatever the constitution is they're gonna like protect that to the death they're right. all about it so they need to start with that using them as scapegoats. Right. I really like the movement of of, of people. You know, when they were, uh, um, I think it was Minneapolis. They were obviously a lot of different cities. They were starting to fuck up. But there was that pl- uh, 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 tobacco store or gun. No, it was tobacco store. Oh yeah, in, yeah. Uh, I saw and that. there were a couple of big white boys and a couple of big black boys uh, all posted up outside of the place with guns right. strapped like a motherfucker. Just please. Don't you're not going to do whatever right. you're doing everywhere else. You're not doing that here. It's like 1994 all over again. Remember the the riots? No. The riots with oh, the, oh, oh, in L.A.? Yeah. The yeah. Koreans, the Korean communities, they're all outside with machine guns and they shot at people. They shot some people. They really they protected their shit. That's the Rodney King. The Rodney King. Right, riots. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a video on uh, ABC. Um, uh, it's obviously still applicable today, but uh, from from that same thing, whereas a black business owner. Um, crying, yeah, yeah, driving around, yeah, to that different one, spots. that one made me cry. It's fucked up, yeah, because he's right, right. He's like, why are you ruining my shit, right? I'm in your community. I'm just trying to make it, right. This is my dream. You know that guy didn't have insurance, no. So it's that business is burned down. It's not coming back ever. Right. These people don't understand that. It's like, dude, what point are you trying to get across when you destroy your own community? Right. Black Lives Matter. Well, what about the black owned businesses? Right. How does that? They don't matter. Right. And they have no answer for it. Or the black people. I mean, this is the this is the numbers, because people. I don't think intentionally, but through no fault of their own, people languish in sayings instead of numbers. And numbers are really important. Logic True. is really important. True. Nine unarmed black Thank people you. died last year in all of 2019. Nine of them, uh, uh, unarmed black people died at the hands of cops. Five of those nine attacked the cops first. Right. Okay. Now I'm not saying that in in, in and and of those four who did not attack the cops first, two have been brought up on charges, three maybe? Two, two. two. okay. Um, so, 
So we're talking that small of a number now is creating this giant thing where exactly. where where in we're 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 languishing away in in the feelings we're languishing away in the idea rather than in the facts rather than in the truth and the truth is that it is it is it is a problem i'm not saying you know that uh, chris rock bit it was posted a bunch you know um uh, 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 the bad apple idea right. that Chris Rock was talking about how you know a lot of people say well the, it's not all cops it's just a couple of bad apples well cops don't get to have a few bad apples right uh, number one no the fuck that's not true number one number two there's going to be humanity you cannot suppress violent mistaking humanity you cannot stop humans from making mistakes it's fucking impossible you can't you can't culture it out you can i mean have you motherfuckers never watched the beach (laughs) (laughs) and that was supposed to be utopia too that was a fucking lesson always dirty dark filthy fucked up humanity will find a way and i'm not saying that those cops who have done that bad shit should have immunity just blanket immunity but let's look at the real issue let's look at the uh, 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 uh at the real problem and and assess it for what it is. Should we? Should there be uh, um, not just not a, not blanket immunity, but should there be consequences for the cops who are cunts? Absolutely. But let's look at. Let's take a step back and see how often is this country actually happening. And if this country is not happening as often as people are making it out to be, then maybe we should pull back from the solution. Again, I agree with the fucking medicine. If the diagnosis was correct, the diagnosis is not correct. Absolutely. Here's one thing like uh, what's one thing that all these these shootings have in common with the cops? Mm. They, n- they don't comply. They're always resisting arrest. Right. There was one I saw. Well, no. Yeah, that's true. Most of them. Most of them. Yeah. There was one I saw. There was a, c- a guy, a black guy in a uh, I think it was a white truck or a white van. And I think he may have he may have not complied at first. And then he was getting out and he had his back to the cop with his hands above his head. And the white lady uh, shot. Uh, him the that's, back. Yeah, that one's bullshit. They, that. That cop should definitely be in jail for that. Yeah. They're already turned on, they're turned away from you. Like, what are you doing? Why would you shoot them? Right. I totally understand those ones. But most of the cases, like Rashard Brooks, people were, they burnt out on the Wendy's because of him. And it was right. Like, like, did anybody watch that video? Right. Dude, let's just be honest. Be, keep it real. Keep it a buck. If you resist arrest, let's just say you might get shot. There's a yeah. possibility. Might, just think that in your mind. Comply. If they did something foul, then you could sue the shit out of them after. And be a right. multimillionaire if you want. Right. But you're not helping yourself out by resisting arrest. You might get shot. It right. happens. Right. I just don't understand it. It's like a trend. Like they want to like they want to fuck around the cops so they can get viral. Right. And be some kind of martyr. And and I don't even know if it's that well thought out. I think if they're just told culturally from a standpoint all the right. way back, if they're told culturally you are a victim, you are going to be a victim, let's sit down and have the talk. Let's blah blah let's do that bullshit. Then, then of course they're going to be more defensive when it comes to a cop Absolutely. stopping. Of course they're going to be more fighting, and of course they're not going to be as compliant. I love that fucking Gavin saying, that Gavin fucking McGinnis saying, he said, just seethe. It's beautiful, it's simple, <laughs> just seethe. If you are being stopped by cops and they are being unfair, if they are being whatever, put your hands back and just seethe. Just fucking under your breath, yeah. whatever you need to do. Just, ooh, I can't wait to get millions from suing these cops. Oh, my God. Just seethe. Because, and not just that, but there has been so many times, even on this trip, small shit, where I've thought, this is absolutely true. I believe this. I'm afraid of this thing. And I'm going to bring it up to this person. And I bring it up to the person. It turns out I was completely fucking wrong and held on to the fact that I was was right for like a a day, two days, three days. It's like humans are are mistaken. And to, to, to... yeah, I don't know. I've had bad experience with the cops when I was younger. You know, I got in trouble. Right. And uh, there was one time where they, you know, they tuned me up pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay. Do you remember but, the situation? If yeah. If you're willing to. Yeah. To um, well, what it came down to now, like 10 years later, when I'm like an adult and I actually can think and just, you know, back up, not be so emotional about it. That was all my fault. Mm. Uh, I didn't have to talk shit to them in front of their face. <laughs> um, that is an option. Yes. <laughs> Boom. That's that's one. And then second, the biggest one is why was I there to begin with? What was I doing up at two something in the morning acting a fool? Like, yeah, that's my bad. I right. shouldn't have been there in the first place. Right. So, I mean, you got to, like, have some kind of accountability at some point in your life. Right. You know, the cops aren't aren't stopping you from graduating high school. Right. They're not stopping you from getting a job. 
Right. So they're really fucking with these kids with this whole movement thing because, man, you think they're indoctrinated now. They're emboldened now to think that, like, right. and they're taking it out on other people now. I've seen video after video of white people getting beat up just for being white. It's like, man, there's a loss of, like, humanity right now. It's really, really bad. It's fucked up. And not just that, but there's also, it's, it's, there's this idea among white liberals especially that they don't they don't have any grasp of the idea that they are hypocrites and that when somebody breaks into their home say a black say white liberals who are listening right now i love you to death i really do um and if you're a woman i'll, I'll absolutely fuck you um but like <laughs> uh uh, uh <laughs> may have to put some duct tape around your dumb mouth but um that's all right <laughs> we can make it play um but um uh, Liberals, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, uh, say somebody breaks into your home and they're black. What would you like the cops to do if that black man is uh, rummaging through your shit? Or if uh, uh, the cops do come and now have a gun h- held on them, what would you like them to do? What would you like them to do if they were in your house? I'm not saying that means shoot them. No, no, no. I'm not saying that means rough them up. I'm saying have some perspective that this is in your backyard too, that you are culpable. You are culpable of having this experience, right? And to think abstract that black people are just abstract victims is racist. It's fucking Hmm. racist. (laughs) Yeah, that's a deep thought on that one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's not out there, motherfucker. It's right here. That whole thing has been making me wonder. It's, I don't know if it's like a, a trend thing where they want to just be friends with black people or is it like... I think that's part of it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Culturally, they've white people have been, thought, have been taught for a long time that black people are cooler. And I kind of believe them in, in a lot of ways. I mean, when you look at like legit-ass artists, there's not a lot that have like the, the natural, delicious fucking rhythm. Like there is... Oh, for sure. But man. even then, Prince was halvesies. Like, let's be fucking real. Like, don't... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but like... You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think certain races are just kind of better, maybe, or just maybe culturally they just get brought up with rhythm more, or brought up with whatever. So that may be true, but we have, but white people have put black people up on a pedestal for way too long culturally. And they don't have to. I mean, black, even black people are looking at them like, what are you guys doing? And what's funny is, like, thieves and fucking and criminals, mm. they're loving it right now. They're like, man, they're going to, they're going to, like, make it better for us to do more crime. Right. Yeah, get yeah, defund the police, please. Yeah. By by all means do that. Are you kidding me? Dude. <sighs> it's gonna be like a rack everywhere. Like these people are fucking sorry to say you're fucking morons, dude. Yeah. Think about like real shit. You need cops. Sorry. Right. Yeah. And even on a daily basis, you lock your doors, don't you, kids? You lock your doors. You walk down the street. You 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 I mean if you're if you're in the uh, I don't know, man. You need cops. What about like serial killers? I'm all in like serial killers. I like like studying them. But like, dude, these so like, there's no cops. Like, you're not gonna have detectives trying to find them. And if they do, if they do find them, then they have to be nice. If they resist, yeah, arrest, they're releasing them. They have them. to be nice. Oh, Just fl- hit them. Have the cops give them give them like feathers and say, please, killer, please sit down on the ground and let us wrap your wrists in this feather. Like, come on, motherfucker. Dude, you're there's from New York. Be a little. <laughs> you live in you live in New York now, dude. Like. <laughs> You think it's a powder keg waiting to happen? What they're doing over there, like with De Blasio, uh, like all these policies where they're just rele- they're just yes. releasing these 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 fucking murderers. Like they go in and just release them right away. There's no bail anymore. Murderers right away? Yeah, they just release a bunch of like murderers and shit on the streets because of COVID. Okay, I I think there are a lot of people because I've known motherfuckers who murder people who have gotten out who have done who have proven to the board that. They are, they, uh, that they have gotten better and have changed their life around, but they've also been in 15 plus years. Right. I don't know about, I don't know about this. Yeah. I don't know about that. the years, okay. but or just even uh, with the, the, the protesters, dude, they're getting arrested, but being released the same night in New York right now. Like, what does that, what does that teach them? Right. They're just going to keep doing it. Right. There's no consequences. Right. And, and another thing, Cuomo, dude, with the COVID shit, hmm. I don't know why no one's talking about that. He's committed like mass murder, dude, with his policies. Putting COVID patients in fucking... I haven't done a lot of research into that, but I've heard people say it. Dude, what, he, what is he it? put COVID-infected patients in nursing homes. 6,000-plus people have died in the nursing homes because of that. This is all... He did all this while Trump sent him a big-ass Navy ship with 30,000 beds, COVID-ready, and he didn't use none of them. He didn't even use it, dude. Instead, he sent his patients to fucking nursing homes. Those are the most vulnerable people, mm-hmm. and they're dying by the thousands. No one's talking about this shit, dude. It's ridiculous. 
Was it because possibly there was not enough people to staff to adequately staff dude, the the, the, the he ship? got he got a military staff to to fucking take care of the whole navy shit, dude. Okay, just waiting for him to use it. But was that De Blasio or Cuomo? Cuomo. Okay. All right. And what kind of accent does that dude have? He's from America. I I, I can't put a finger on it. I'm like, <laughs> what is he? Cuomo is so far, so far, I haven't done, I, I definitely need to do some more research on that. Cuomo, don't, I don't mind as much. De Blasio is definitely an insufferable douchebag. And nobody, just vibe-wise, let's be real, nobody in Manhattan, nobody in Long Island, nobody in New York likes de Blasio. Jews he hate him. His fucking ass out. Oh, Jews hate him, man, because yeah. he, he was a prick to the Jews, man. Yeah. When he was like... Uh, welding the fucking locks together on their parks and stuff, like right. dude. And, on there, and, on their and it, that was cool though. They like they uh, they broke out, like broke into him, back into him. Dude is really? awesome. Yeah, nice. Bunch of Hasidic Jews with fucking. Yeah, Jews don't give a fuck, man. I like that. You gotta love. You gotta love them, dude. You gotta love them, like like Hasids and shit. But the thing is, is that I, I don't think they did that same thing. Did they do that same thing to mosques? No, not no, not at all. They were giving free meals to mosques every night. Free hot meals. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Poor Brown can't help themselves. We'll have to do it for them. It's it's creepy shit. I loved. Uh, did you did you? Uh, who was it? Was it Lauren? Did you see Lauren Southern? By the way, she kind of came back. She she put a, a video is she, up. Is she? Yeah, I think I like her. She she She's yeah special. she had a baby. God bless her. Oh well, okay, I guess. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you, Lauren. <laughs> no, um, she's uh, yeah, she kind of came back. Anyway, uh, back in year and a half ago, when I was year and a, two years now, uh, where I was starting to open up to a lot of this stuff, I had this idea. Or I watched this video of uh, 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 Canada and uh, how many how many uh, Muslim immigrants they've been letting in. Yeah. And there were there was this mall. It was in Canada. It was the, this is the Western world, and everybody in the mall on a work day. Everybody in the mall was 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 a, oh, yeah. a, a Muslim man. Number one, because they don't like their females to be out with them. They Not don't like that shit. They want them to be at home, barefoot, blah blah blah. And so the dudes weren't really <laughs> working, and so they just would kick it around at this fucking mall all yeah. day, being f- fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, and they would like you know these these people were interviewing these these Muslim like a whole mall full of fucking full of Muslim men. Um, and we're interviewing like, do you, what do you think about gay marriage? What do you think about homosexuality? What do you think about people who don't believe in the, and there was a, a growing, there was this idea of a lot of really anti Western oh, for sure. beliefs, a lot of really anti, sure. uh, uh, freedom of religion, a lot of really anti, anti fucking homosexuality. And, and that's kind of. So to have an idea of, hey, we don't want these ideas, not we don't want these people, we don't necessarily want this culture of this growing, like, think about this, boys and girls. For sure. If there was a, a country made up <clears throat> of, even if it was 50%, let's, let's make believe it's 50% KKK members, and it was a giant fucking country, and they were all coming to your fucking country, would you really want that element? And I'm not talking race. I'm talking culture, idea, belief, value. Would you want that value in your fucking home? You know what I mean? Like, I understand if these people are running from where they're coming from, let them, let them, you know, give them food, give them shot, whatever, like to help these people. I don't want people to fucking die if they're, if they need to wow, be a refugee a from where wow. they're at. Yeah. But how the fuck do you stop that fucking idea from coming in? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good fucking question to them. You know? And what's funny is, like, uh, real Muslims, dude, they're, you'll never change their mind on, on gay uh, gay couples, any of that shit. Right. They're strict with that. I talked to this one guy. He's a, um, what do you call it? He's a cleric. A cleric hmm. over here in San Jose. I can't give his name because he's, and he's awesome, though. He's real open with me. We talk about shit. Oh, good. And he's not gonna be, he's not going to go along with a lot of stuff I believe because... Like, I don't care if people are gay or whatever. Right, right. But he's like, nah, that shit is not, <laughs> that shit, sorry. We just, we're not going to be into it. We're not into it. It's against him. And that's cool. At least he's honest with me. Right. But it's funny is because. Because it says in their book. And I, and, I, and I brought it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And I brought up Il- Ilhan Omar. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude. If they said if they were if they were allowed to do it, they'd, they'd get her. Wow. She, they said she's a fake fucking Muslim. Really? She's not a Muslim at all. She's uh, the worst example of a, a Muslim woman. They hate her. Interesting. Yeah. I think that kind of would be that that kind of makes sense from an extremist point of view because they don't really like like even. OK. If you were if you were being letter of the fucking law 
obviously there's in in all religious books there's going to be shit that counter, contradicts it, itself right in uh, corinthians it says uh women shouldn't talk in church and obviously we've kind of let go of that idea for right. a long time right. right okay fine girls can talk uh, but letter of the law if it's saying that even on christian angle in fucking corinthians and that's new testament shit they're saying women can't talk in church what do you really fucking think <laughs> right is gonna say in the goddamn quran when it comes yeah, to for fucking, sure. should women be involved in fucking politics stop, stop yeah and but i give them uh i give them credit though one thing i will give islam credit is like they, they acknowledge jesus really yeah they say praise be to, to jesus you know they they hmm. consider him one of the top like you know prophets that were around during that time okay i think right. that's fucking cool there's a lot of jews who 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 who, who at least acknowledge they don't necessarily say he's the son I, of god I, but they I, acknowledge. I appreciate that shit at least you know what i'm saying uh like if it's real extreme they're like fuck him i'm just like whoa like okay right, 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 right. yeah chill out a little bit but i think that was cool that's like the one thing i thought was cool when i was talking to him mm. yeah but the rest of it was like uh, it's i mean just because my own personal experience like dude i don't have a problem with gay people like right i like them right uh, so I come from the belief where, dude, if they're nice to me, why would I fucking hate them? Like, why would I don't like I don't want you to do that. It's like, I don't give a fuck. You're nice to me. That's all that matters right. to me, dude. Personally, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. I would think I would like to think like that's what a god would want us to feel like, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Be yeah, nice yeah. to your neighbor, right. all that shit, all that fucking right. sappy stuff. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, and then they like you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you can't wear this, you can't do this on a certain day. I'm like, so that's a little bit. It's a little bit like uh, I want to eat fish whenever I want. Like you know. Yeah. I like meat. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't eat this cow if it's also cooked with near yeah. pickles or so. What the fuck is that? What, 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 how would how would uh, that that kosher p- pickles don't make no goddamn sense to me? Isn't it kosher where like you can't cook it near certain things? And how do you know they're not lying? That it's just the regular yeah, shit. Yeah, that's fucking true. Yeah, the, the um, Jewish people they have their own butchers too. They have yeah, their, that's yeah. true. That's some money shit too. Um, now, as far as as far as the uh, oh, I was gonna go off on another thing. Um, God damn it! Oh, oh, oh! Well, while while I'm at it, so you were talking about um, uh, uh, getting into music these days. Have you run into since you've been doing your own thing? Have you also run into old people who may have? been a part of that cancel mob who have changed their tune do you know anybody who may w- maybe was silent a few years ago when that shit popped off and then now uh, have reached out to you i'm more of getting a trickle of people that initially that i knew for years that counseled me out um come back and be like i still don't believe anything that you say like you believe in but they're being respectful now but you know what like has brought us together is the COVID shit Really? Okay. Because they're all health conscious and like they don't they don't believe a lot of the lies and neither do I. And so we kind of started talking about that. I'm I'm starting to red pill. I'm sorry. I'm going to get you. Um, <laughs> but you know what's sad is I'm also still losing friends that okay. I've known. Okay. And you know what? But I'm at the point now I could give a flying fuck. Right. I'm, I'm is happy. Is it mostly through social media? Yeah, of course. Don't you think that's kind of Of course. Of yeah. course, man. If they would never say the things that they say to me if we were face to face. I always tell them, I'm like, dude, would you, like, I've, I know you, man. Like, you would never say that to me in front of my face, ever. Right. But, right. and then it's a thing where, like, I'm a grown ass man, dude. Like, I don't want to have to beg anybody to be my friend. So, right. if you want to come back when you wake up, fine. But if not, I can't do anything right. to stop that. Right. So, whatever. Isn't I wish that, like, that, that guess you had, man, I'm like, dude, she. What, Carrie? Yeah, she's special. Yeah, she's yeah. I like her. She's like I want to like put her on a little. Dude, around, like there's glowing. been so many people. There's been so many people who have sent me messages like, "Damn, she's cute too." I'm like, "Listen, yeah, that's yeah, nothing. yeah, definitely. You can either move to Texas or what are you gonna do? There's nothing. To, what do you want from me? Because <laughs> because what she's saying is logical. She's not saying no. I'm a fucking straight Trump Trump supporter. No, not at right, all. Right. That's not what she's saying at right, all. Right. She's just saying my side has gone too far. Like you guys are tripping on your shit. Like, right. can we come back here? No, you can't be there. Well then. I can't be a part of you guys. Right. That makes 100. Yeah, it makes all the sense in the world. Right. And it's not that extreme. There's a, I mean, to bring it back to sex. Hello, you're on this show. Right. Um, but like to bring it back to sex, there's a lot of times where especially white women will think like, oh, submissive means I don't get to have a say. No, no, no. You get to have a say fucking. But like submissive, like sexually, as far as that goes, is more just like a, f- a vibe. You're you're right, you're right. to the right fucking dominant, to the right motherfucker, yeah. to the right leader. You will follow naturally, yeah. not 
I will follow and I won't say anything. And no, and there's something like in your belly. And they'll will like fucking, it. Well, yeah, there's yeah. there's something in a, in a in a sub's little girl fucking belly that just switches to where she's just like, oh, he's serious. Oh. <laughs> like Patrice used to tell the, tell this story. I would say Patrice. Patrice used to tell the story where he's he was uh, uh, fucking this girl, and then uh, afterwards he was like. Uh, hey, when I told you when I told you to sit on my face towards the end of what we were doing, what why did you why did you just do that? She said she thought about it for a second. She's like, the way you said it, just you didn't give me an option. <laughs> it was just the next indicated step was to sit on Patrice's face, and it's okay. Yeah, There's nothing bad. It was like, something natural, right? And that's what to to tie it in. I think I'm tying it in to this idea of of people who are like Carrie, who are. Even though they're women who ha- who are are very liberal in a lot of ways, they're they're more malleable, meaning not malleable like uh, uh, manipulatable, but malleable meaning they're not rigidly shitty. Right. They're not rigidly shitty. They're Fupa. open. I never heard of that word, <laughs> dude. I I, ne- I never heard I never heard of that word before, dude. I never heard it in like and I didn't even like try to. I never I didn't even try, I didn't even try to like find the meaning oh, behind it. But uh, the, just the word, the uh, way it sounded, encapsulate exactly. <laughs> What they are, what they look like, and how they feel, and how they pre- present themselves. <laughs> yes, dude. perfectly. I don't even know. I still don't know what it means, but that's definitely. Do you that. want me to tell you? Yeah, it's it's fat upper pussy. It's area. that that area. It's that. Okay, booth. it's yeah, like yeah, why yeah. is it there? Yeah, right. right. It's the and and there's there's especially with a lot of San Francisco or Brooklyn type of type of broads who are who have that ideology. There's something that overcomes them where they're almost compensate. They're trying to compensate for how pretty they are and how fuckable they are by making themselves even less fuckable and yet yes. still having sexual power over right. men. Because the reality is, ladies, you know this somewhere in your belly. We are going to fuck you anyway. We may right. not like you. We may not want to spend second date with you. We as soon as we dump, we may be like, get me the fuck away from this chick. But you know we will still jump yeah. through hoops and that there is a lot of men who aren't getting regularly laid who will deal with your crazy ass anyway, even though look at how unfuckable I'm gonna make myself. Look at how short right. my weird hair. I'm gonna I'm gonna color it so many things and then not even shampoo the shit and it's gonna look like a matted mess, but you're still gonna fucking chase after yep. my ass. My homegirl was like, she's like, you wouldn't go out with a girl with uh, armpit hair? And I've been like, no. I'm not gonna like, hey, we gotta go to my mom's this weekend. Like, come on, man, you gotta take it for the team, or this ain't gonna work out. You're yeah, not take gonna, it for the team. you're not gonna be showing up around my grandma with fucking armpit hair. I'm right. sorry. Right. Okay, maybe I'm. We're not for each other. Like, right. And the thing is, is that uh, women who are like that have no logical standpoint to understand that I'm changing for them too, and right. not changing, right. but I'm adjusting. If I'm going over to a girl's parents' house, I am. <laughs> Best yeah. fucking behavior. Nice, you know, maybe uh, maybe not like suit and tie every time, but I'm I'm come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking care of myself in order to keep this person happy, to keep them to meet their parents, to whatever. I'm I'm being I'm not myself like I would be if I was single. Like if I was For single sure. and fresh out of a maybe not fresh out of a relationship, but like you go through those times, all all men, and I'm sure girls too, where you're just you're not on a fucking hot streak, and you know what? You're just gonna get the fucking pizza. I'm just <laughs> gonna get the pizza. I'm gonna get the shit. I'm gonna look at the porn that makes me feel bad, and I don't give a fuck. I'm just that gonna be. Porn? I'm gonna <laughs> don't tell me there's don't don't even. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. That's not cool. Don't tell me there's that. Yeah, is I'm there sure that? there is. Oh yeah, Jeez. oh yeah. There's, you would there's know. A couple you... Of, there's a couple of uh, 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 oh, chicks who like shave their head. No. And, like, I'm sorry, but I, I, let me let me it talk to you me. as a person of color. Why in the sweet hot fuck do people call Amber Rose pretty? Like why the fuck do people who call uh, 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 Kim Kardashian? Like I understand, I would, right? But not preference, dude. They're not. Because there's something about it's not I can't handle that much. I don't want that to. is the power. Want that's to. the power of media. They're telling you who you need to like, like who you're supposed to be attracted to, who uh, you're going to be cool if you actually like this person. Like, but black dudes have been on that shit for black fucking years. black dudes love anything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They black dudes but do there, not there give are, a there flying. Have been, there have been. Thin, skinny, scrawny, olive oil looking white bitches who I would fucking love. And guy yeah. and black guys are like, ooh. You know what I mean? They're not like, thinking about like oh someone that you wake up next to and they're like have a good personality. They fucking love sex. Touche. Touche. I've seen them with midgets, I've seen them with fucking no leg. <laughs> you know? Just man. Yeah. They like it. That's, yeah, it's a it's a whole different vibe. Like I don't yeah. have that vibe, or they're just like I'm gonna get that. I can't. Right, right, I right. Just, not, 
right, right, I can right. do it. Some of the, yeah, it's crazy. Better men than I. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, as far as, as far as, this is another thing too. When it comes to the Mexican shit, because a lot of these white people don't understand that a lot of Latin people and black people who are, who have their shit, they may be culturally, yeah, Black Lives Matter, because there's a confusion between the idea and the, and the organization. Um, but where the rubber meets the road, most motherfuckers are libertarian as fuck. Let me, a yeah. lot of fucking, a lot of motherfuckers. Mo- the majority are just libertarian as fuck. Go I ahead. gotta say this to white liberals. It's like uh, I get back to that point. But first, I want to say, and I say this in debates sometimes, where I kind of like throw my own identity politics in there. Where what makes you think? Okay, say if this this country is that racist. Besides that, what fucking makes you think that people of color can't take care of themselves? Why would the fuck would we would we need your help? Like, dude, have you seen black people and Mexicans fight? We're fine, dude. We have <laughs> weapons. We, we're fine. We we're okay. We can take care of ourselves. We'll whip fucking ass, dude. We don't need your help at all. Like, right. we're not pathetic. Oh, help me! They're they're picking. No, we're the enforcers when it comes down to shit like that. So right, right, just right, 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 right. relax. Right. Just stay over there. We'll be okay. Right. right. Buy our Mexican food. It's cool. Right. Yeah. Um. The other point was that you're talking about. Um. You said the Mexican the libertarian as fuck. Like, dude. like they just want their shit. Like, especially yeah. San Jose. OK. Stop, dude. And like also to liberals. OK. Mexicans, they're re- they're like serious Catholics. Mm. Don't be pushing that LGBT kids on them. Uh, the LGBT kids and all that kind of shit on them. They don't like it. I'm telling you right now, they don't like that shit. Um, all this gender fluid. No, there there's men and there's women. The men work their ass off to fucking make a better life for their wife and their kids all this extracurricular shit they could give a fuck about all right yeah, they want to they want to get drunk on the weekends yep do some coke drink hella corona and fucking make more and babies in the fucking banda maybe hella, hella loud in front of the front yard dude for some i don't know why the front yard for some why? reason why i have no idea with a fucking jumper and <laughs> they don't they don't they do not give a flying fuck of what you're fighting for at DJ all alex g and like in mexicans and black people know that we're not it's not both of our fights no. To be honest with you, no, we have our own shit, and so do they. Right. That's why right. you haven't been hearing from Latin people. It's like, no. that's your shit, until, bro. Until figure it out. Until what? Until fucking Goya. You try to talk oh, some shit, I, dude. and look what happened. Look what happened. Try to cancel fucking Goya. And that's look a what dumb the fuck happened, dude. You know that like dumbass, p- like Puerto Ricans, they cook with primarily Goya products. Like, yes, sir. You dumb idiots. Idiot ass motherfucker. So you're gonna take away like their main cooking source? Like, that's you just got more votes for fucking Trump. Yeah, you did, dude. He's yeah, not all, you did. He's not all, all up in your business like that. No, dude. People want to mind their own fucking business. And as soon as as soon as Latin people could flex nuts, they fucking flexed nuts. And money got jumped. What was it? It, it, it? In one day, the like page, the Goya like page went up 70,000 likes. Sold, one sold fucking, out everywhere. Uh, yeah, dude. I had uh, uh, that same Latin guy hit, hit me up, texted me a, a picture. Maybe I'll post it for this episode. They sent me a picture of uh, of a discount foods up in um, uh, uh, up in the Northeast Bay, you know the uh, God damn, what's that damn fucking city? It's not, it's not it's somewhere near Vallejo. He's right. like, check this, and he said the whole aisle is <laughs> just the gone. whole rack. Goya is See, gone, motherfucker. They bought the shit liberals, out of that. Liberals, you guys don't understand, dude. <laughs> when you don't do identity politics, your side is everybody. So you have Karens, you got white people buying Goya. Yep. Never, I've never bought Goya in my life, but I went and bought a couple of fucking cans. Yeah. Everybody's together on that shit. So yeah, just dude. think about that. We yeah, don't dude. separate people in little groups. It's not gonna work out for you, babies. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude. They flex the shit out of that. Yeah. Dude. I that's love good to them. see too. I love them. Yeah. And and God bless the motherfucker. Not only was Goya Latin owned, it was it was the the grandson of the motherfucker. It's all Latin. The whole right. time Goya has been a thing. Latin owned. Latin owned. Latin owned. Family owned. Um, uh, 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 provided so much relief for Latin communities. Provided relief from, Dude, for for yeah. for COVID. Yep. Provided mother, and you wanna you wanna oh because he said good things about Trump. We wanna we wanna we wanna boycott, bitch. Here's Out my of thing. Your fucking mind. Here's my thing. Okay, whatever he said about Trump. How about you just do 10, 10 minutes of research? What did he say? And is there is there any truth behind it? Just because Trump's in there doesn't mean it's a lie. Right. He's fucking telling the truth about him. Right. So. And I like that he didn't. Do- he 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 doubled down on it too. He didn't fucking apologize. Yep, yep. yep. God like, bless nope. his fucking heart. Yeah. I'm absolute. Woo. That's and the way you win. 
and exactly because now they can't fucking say anything. As soon as they're like ba 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 ba, and you're just like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to bend. Right. What do bullies do? They don't. They don't. They don't push harder. As soon as you push back, they're like, oh, okay, this is somebody we can't fuck with. Move yeah. on. We find somebody else. Even if you bitch. apologize, they're gonna, still going to go after you. Right. That has, that don't. They don't give a shit about. It. That's just a consolation yeah. prize for them. Right. Um. Oh fuck! I was going to say something else. I'm sure it was incredibly smart. Um, <laughs> no, I just, I just like, I like the 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 movement of this underground thing. But as I was saying on the Carrie episode, there's more motherfuckers who got to stand the fuck up. And I'm and I'm specifically please, asking please. the people of color or the motherfuckers please. who don't fit in the identity politics boundaries. Please stand up and help, dude. Stand up and help. I don't give a fuck if I don't agree with you on everything. Here's 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 a what I was going to say. You said, do your research and see if it's actually true if the Goya guy said something good about Trump. Barack Obama did good things, too. Mm-hmm. Everybody is somewhere that's in the middle. Yeah, that's true. I, even if I agree with Barack fucking 20%, that's still 20%. I agree with him. Imagine for one second that Trump did something that you fucking agree right. with. I guarantee God damn tea. First Step Act, bitch. Look up the First Step yeah. Act. You, you're going to say you disagree with the First Step Act? Stop. Come on, dude. Billions say HBCUs. Historic black colleges. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, made yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. permanent. It's not like he's oh, doing really? it. Yeah, it's permanent. They're nice. Just, they're gonna be getting billions for forever for their colleges because they used to have to go to his go to the White House every year and ask for money, like beg for money. And he's like, "Why don't you guys just have it?" Okay, I'm making it permanent. Boom. And like, they they won't even acknowledge that for black people. Like that's how and, is that racist? And what did he do for the whole thing? Goya st- started uh, was this was this uh, movement for Hispanic communities to have yeah. access to charter schools. Yes. For two seconds. Do a little bit of research. Yes, I have heard from one person who said that charter, charter schools are a little bit of bullshit. Maybe not no. all bullshit, but a little bit of bullshit because Betsy DeVos has in, uh, um, uh, investment in, in charter schools. Look up Thomas Sowell. Listen, he just came out with another book, which I have. I, I, have you read Disparities and uh, Discrimination? I've read a couple chapters out of it. Dude, it's hard, dude. His words are like, what did he just say? Dude, he's so... <laughs> so smart. Man. Just <laughs> bothers a, me to death. But he's the one who listened to Thomas Sowell man. talk about charter schools. Great mind. Because the motherfucker is, is on point. Logic, not emotion. Logic. The motherfucker... Wh- Let's see people who are who are born and live in the same shit neighborhoods have incredible fucking scores, have incredible careers. Yeah, charter schools. Incredible charter schools. In Brooklyn. Did that. The Opportunity. Ones, the ones in Brooklyn. The all like there's like ninety nine percent black students in they're, they're right, the, right, right, they're right, the right, right, best by by their test scores in the whole fucking country, dude. Right. And charter schools and Trump wanted to specifically offer that and keep that yes. an opportunity for his Hispanic communities. Yes. And now people are like, uh, uh, I mean, how could you, how could you be that angry to make yourself childish enough to believe that you absolutely one hundred percent disagree with what someone t- says and right. does? Come on, dude. And even, everybody, even, yeah. Even some fucking KKK members, I'm sure, listen to fucking MF Doom. Come on, dude. You gotta be on the same. Come on. On, just a little bit, just a little and bit. And everybody over here in San Jose, you know the fucking public schools right here are dog shit. Yeah. So come on now. Right. Think about it. Right. It might be just a little bit better. Might be just a little bit better. <sighs> Thomas Sowell was uh, sharing that thing that, uh, uh, um, or no, uh, someone was talking about Thomas Sowell talking about that and how uh, they grew up, uh, 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 you know, in, in uh, uh, that. Oh, it was Marcus Wiley. Have you seen Marcus no. Wiley? Uh, uh, he's an NFL commentator. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw dude, it. he's yeah. a badass That's boy, good. dude. I like that motherfucker. And he was talking about, I think it was him, talking about how uh, when he was growing up at school, he saw somebody uh, in high school, or might have been even junior high, get his shoes jacked with a knife, like, knife to his side. Right. Like, give me your fucking shoes. Imagine if there wasn't that. Not fuck, fuck school test scores. Imagine right. culturally if you felt okay enough or if you felt not okay enough, if you felt unsafe enough, it doesn't matter how good your fucking teacher is. If right outside the oh, fucking yeah. door, you're going to jack time. your shoes with a knife. Come on, dude. Yeah. You're not going to focus on, on, on English. That's real shit. You're not going to focus on math. If you know your fucking life, come That's on, real dude. Shit. Let's, get, let's get each other set up culturally for success, man, for individual success. Man. And the last thing I'll say about all of it, okay, if you don't want to, if you hate Trump, that's fine. You know what? Leave people the fuck alone that actually like him then. Can you at least do that? Mm. You don't like them. Don't attack people. Like, don't disparage people. Let them believe whatever the fuck they want to believe. And then that's like my brother. My brother, my whole family are Democrats. Hmm. And I'm starting to, like, win them over a little bit. But 
it's never going to change. They've been Democrats. They're going to stay Democrats. But here's one thing. They let me believe whatever the fuck I want to believe. Right. They never give me shit about my beliefs, ever. Right. And we don't talk about it at the, at the dinner table. Right. There's more important shit to talk about. I got nephews right. and shit. It's like, right. this isn't everything in your world. You know what I'm saying? And if right. someone else doesn't believe what you believe, just keep living your fucking life and stay the fuck out of their business. Right. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah, there's not roaming. There's not roaming uh, culturally in the schools, in universities, in media, in poli- there's not ro- roving groups of people who will try to make you like Trump. That's not happening. That's not happening. I guarantee that doesn't and yet happen. it's happening on the other side, right? So someone needs to get laid more. Tell the goddamn <laughs> truth. Somebody For needs real, to. Though. Somebody needs to meditate and get a little I'm, fucking I mean, cummy <laughs> cum, okay? If you don't know where the G spot is, baby, listen, listen. White little skinny white boys who are in these protests, you go in, up, and back. Baby sponge, baby flow, baby sponge. Okay, you hear that? <laughs> And then, oh, she's pissing all over my hand. Suck it up, bitch. Okay. It's the best kind. <laughs> it's, it's the best, best kind. kind. So your fucking, so your match is going to smell a little job. bit. You did your job. <laughs> just like, that's what you know for sure you did. You don't even have to ask. And all of a sudden, she's going to wake up a couple minutes later just like, I'm, and all she's, all, uh, she's going to be all a little doe-eyed. You're going to be like, hey, do you want to go have a cigarette? And she's going to be fine. She's going to be fine, okay? Thank you very much, Jerry, for coming. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. I love my show. I'm, I love I'm, it and too. I'm grateful, grateful you coming on and for spending the time. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this was a small trip. You know, no time to do any gigs or whatever. Yeah. But um, we'll have an egg roll right now. Thank I you. I think I'll have an egg roll. We got egg rolls. All right, Sweet. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go have an egg roll. Thank you, everybody. Oh, make sure you subscribe, leave a review, rate it, share it with your get his fucking album. Friends. Get my album, dude. It's get the very, album. Very that shit's legit. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody. All right. Thank you. <laughs>